What's going on, y'all? How you doing? How how are you? How are you, lovely people? Pop my chat out. See what's up. Mm -hmm. What's up, fishy? Beta Plux, Newell, the usual suspects. How y'all doing? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I figured, uh, I figured people don't really know how to play this game. Uh, at least a lot of the newer people don't know how to play. And so I thought I'd, I'd show you, uh, I'd show you how to play. I'd, I'd give you a tour. I made a new account here, brand new. And uh, this, this is a stream you'll be able to, you know, clip, share with people, um, show people how to play. And uh, yeah, make, it's gonna be like a whole guide. You're gonna, you're gonna get everything in here. So uh, I started here on a new account. Of course, if you haven't claimed an account, you just click the key to, to claim one. And, and you get you a little username like I've got here. And uh, yeah, I'm Kekaways. This is me. You can see I've I've started at the very, very beginning here. I have to uh, I have to move my raft. Now I realize I don't actually need these headphones because I'm not listening to anyone or anything. And all I'm doing is screaming. Teach us to be fastest by mining. I'll certainly uh, try. We're get, we're gonna get there. We're gonna get pretty far. Um, we're gonna make a whole island and everything. It's gonna be awesome. So, um, yeah, this is it. Look, I've got an objective here. If you if you just joined and you have no idea what to do whatsoever, uh, that's the best thing you can do. Is uh, is just read these little objectives here. So it wants me to move my raft. That's what we're gonna do. And. You know, this, this this teaches you the basics right here. You, if you can learn to move your raft, you can pretty much do anything. You know, it means you're uh, it means you're alive. It means you're not dead. If you can move a raft, you could be president. Um, so I've I've moved my raft enough. Now it wants me to make a fishing rod. Now, of course, I already know how to make a fishing rod, right? Because because I I built that months ago, but. <laughs> If you don't know how to build a fishing rod, it's really simple. You can craft when you open your inventory. You press E or hit the little bag there and you can craft in there. It's really nice. Um, although we're gonna make that a little better so you can expect some changes there soon. But as you move around, these little sticks and ropes, they keep popping up. They keep popping up in the sea, you see that? So I'm, I'm, gonna, get me, uh, I'm gonna get me some more stick and rope and we're gonna we're gonna get us a fishing rod. Now you need two sticks, or three sticks, sorry, and two ropes. So look at that. I only need I only need one more. You can see I can craft a bow with this, but I I don't want a bow. I uh I want a fishing rod so I can catch all these fish. See the little fish there? I don't know why that guy's not getting that fish. There he goes. All right, check that out. Look. So I got three, got two. Boom made a fishing rod now it wants me to fish for sea junk all right so there's a couple things in this world there's a lot of things in this world really uh there's fish there's sea junk and there's so much of this stuff that you can uh all right Let's, come on you can really catch anything anything here um, so you got sea junk let's take a look whoops sea junk sea junk where is sea junk oh well there it is sea junk kelp tuna cans those are useful Okay, you want tuna cans. 
boots, compasses, cutlasses, flare guns, old keys, laser pointers, all that stuff. It's all, it's all in the sea. You catch all of that just by fishing like this. Watch. You got your fishing rod? Just right click into the sea just like that. Now, now pay attention here. This is where it gets hard. All right, you got to be on your game or you're going to miss this stuff. Look at this guy trying to get my get my my sea junk. So whenever these arrows hit the gray boxes, you're supposed to hit your arrows. Now don't worry, I've I've been doing this a long time, all right? So, you know, if this is hard for you, just keep practicing. It takes patience, it takes practice. You'll become a master at it. I I know some people that get perfects every time. You don't have to get perfects every time. Look at that. I got a tuna can. That's useful. I'm going to need that. In fact, we're going to need a lot of those. Um, so now, now it wants me to catch a fish. I don't see any fish, so, you know, until I see more fish, we'll just we'll just keep catching some more tuna cans. Because why not? I know you heard that. I'm not trying to hide it. Although I am trying to pour and do this at the same time. This is the true test of skill. And it's poured to the top ish. Right? And I got it. Mmm. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, tags. We'll uh we'll be adding music to that. It'll it'll definitely help with the rhythm. For sure. Especially if you know like the the notes. And then you could do it with your eyes closed. Do it with your eyes closed, then you're then you're really going. So we're gonna keep catching some sea junk here because I know for a fact that we're gonna need those tuna cans later. And uh, you know, the more the more of those, the better. I'm surprised that I haven't gotten any kelp yet. So I I'm pretty sure this is gonna be kelp. Nope, it's a tuna can. Look at that. I got another tuna can. Nice. We're gonna need six of these. Six. That's quite a lot. You can see I can make some weapons here, but we're not into that. No, get away, this is my fish. Oh, he's gonna take the fish, isn't he? All right, we'll, we'll find another fish. I have to catch a fish as part of my objectives. Diet Coke, no way. Look, if you're gonna drink Coke, drink the real thing. Diet Coke is not, uh, Diet Coke is not it. I'm sorry to offend Diet Coke enjoyers. What does the objective give? Well, currently Mooncake, it doesn't give you anything. Um, it really just gives you an idea of what to do. And it really just serves as a kind of a tutorial for the new players, you know? So you see a fish, these little blobs here, you, you gotta click them. You gotta click them with your fishing rod, and then look at that. You got a great view here. And you just, you just do it. You just go for it, man. And you, and you just try your best. That's what fishing's all about. No, uh, n nothing bad's gonna happen to you while you're, while you're hitting them arrows. Look at that. See? Got a shrimp. You could just do that all day. Nice and peaceful. Nothing gonna, nothing gonna happen to you while you're fishing. At least not yet. Not until the, uh... Not until the combat update. Look at this guy. What's he doing down there? How do you get down there? He's, he's really under the sea. All right. When Pepsi in the game? Mm -mm. Nope. Not a not a big Pepsi fan. Not the uh, not the biggest fan of Pepsi. I 
had my fingers misplaced on the keyboard. Look, it happens. All right, it happens to the best of us. Don't uh, don't fret if you don't make it, because you can always try again. Look at that. See, no harm done. A little damage to the fishing rod, but that's all right. We'll get enough sticks and ropes to make more. It doesn't matter. It doesn't it doesn't hurt you at all. You know that's that's what it's all about. Peace, love, and fish. You know I think the fish bros on on Facebook got it right. So, oh look at that a tuna can. Somebody didn't want this tuna can. But they uh, they don't understand the value of that tuna can, or they're dropping it to me as a favor, in which case thank you I suppose. All right, someone dropped me a dolphin too. That's a pretty big deal. Sadly, you just found this game. Best value NFT entry. Well, the best value is free. So I, I would say. Uh, you know, you play long enough, you might get you a free one just for playing. That's the best entry. All right, let's go. You know, I prefer fishing for sea junk more than I do fish. Is that weird? I'm a, I'm a collector of things. I like collecting things more than I like collecting fish. And I'll tell you why. You see this you see this new task here? It wants me to create an island. Let me show you this. So here's how you create an island. Now of course I could join somebody else's island. Okay? I could be like, you know, I don't know, Beta Plux's little little friend and, and join his island, or I can make one of my own. So if you go to the captain here, the little boat captain, he's going to tell you, well, you know what? I have dreamed of having my own island. That'd be pretty nice. He's like, all right, I got to find a compass. All right, dude, I'll find a compass. This guy doesn't know where he's going at all, so whatever. We'll, uh, we'll find one. Don't worry. A compass is somewhere here in the bottom of the ocean. And, uh, well, someone just dropped me one. But that's not, uh, that's not fair, is it? Eh, all is fair in love and sea. If someone wants to gift you a compass, who are you to turn it down? It's a nice gesture. I will take the tuna can. I'm telling you, you're going to need that. You're going to need a lot of those. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to try one more. People are throwing compasses left and right. There's one right in front of my eyes. Not anymore. Where's Charlie? Charlie's dead. I don't know what happened to Charlie. He's gone. He just died. In fact, everyone just kind of died. And I don't know where anyone is. I'm down here all by myself. All right, I caught a compass. I'm gonna give this one back, cause that that one's not mine. But I did catch this one. So check this out. Are you ready? You guys ready to start your own little island adventure? That's it, look. You guys got it easy, okay? Back in the day, people didn't have islands, okay? All you could do was fish for hours and hours on end. There, there, was, there was nothing like this uh, island concept as we know it. It didn't exist back then, all right? We didn't have islands. We just had endless bounds of ocean. You, you guys got it easy. Look how quickly you can make your own island. Look at this. Where are we going, Captain? Oh, it's dark here. I don't know if I like this place. It's kind of scary, but I'll, I'll give it a shot. This is my new island, huh? All right, I'll take it. You gotta head north? All right, 
Best of luck. I mean, I don't think that's north. That's where the moon's coming from. And, uh... Well, the ocean there is definitely not north. I don't think he knows how to read a compass. That's alright. This is our island! It's amazing. Look at this. It's got a little patch of sand. 20 sand, to be exact. 12, 12 little pieces of dirt. And uh, it's nice. Look, I even got a free axe. Look at that. That's amazing. I can go first person here. And it wants me to chop a palm tree. I can do that. Just like that. You just click the palm tree. And it gives you two little coconuts and four little wood. And you got everything you need. Just like that. Look. Now we gotta plant them. We're gonna, we're gonna grow a little farm. Isn't that, isn't that amazing? Minus one for realism. That is the most realistic thing I've ever seen. Uh, old boat captain. He's senile, right? He can't read. It's not his fault. Don't be ageist. I don't want. I don't want this thing. Give me that. See that? You know what that is? That's that's uh that's 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 stone right there. Yeah, you know all about stone, don't you? So let's plant our coconuts. We'll just place them like that. And that's all you gotta do. These little guys will grow. They'll sprout into little uh, baby coconut trees. Now you can cut them then, but if you wanna get an another coconut to like grow more and more of these things, you gotta let them grow for a day. Don't worry, it's, it's worth it. Uh, so now what? You want me to mine this stone? All right. So here's the thing. A lot of a lot of people have been making this mistake. Okay. You can't just mine stone with your hand, right? And you don't use this wood axe either. All right. That that's not gonna do the trick. See how slow that is? It's too slow, right? It's not fast enough. So what you want to do? You gotta scroll here. See? You gotta get one of these. So that's that's called a pickaxe, All right? And it's a big deal. It lets you mine stuff. Look, look how much faster that is, and it actually drops the stone. Isn't that, isn't that incredible? This is science, people. No, it's not gonna break. Look at that. Amazing. Here we go. All right. See? Amazing, right? Okay. Now it wants me to craft a furnace. And, and before I do that, I'm going to I'm going to clean up this island a bit cuz I, I don't want to fall in a hole. All right. It, it's very dangerous here. And if you if you aren't aware yet, you can't swim. At least not in your own island. Look at that. I'm dying out here, so you, you don't you don't want to be in there too long. It's uh it's 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 dangerous for sure. All right, that that looks nice. Look, we got a little hole here for for whatever. Uh, we'll we'll patch that up in a bit. In fact, I'm gonna make some uh. Well, I'm not gonna make anything. But what I do need is to craft a furnace. So I'm going to tell you how to craft a furnace, okay? Check this out. It's all here on the wiki, if you, if you didn't know. There's a whole thing here on smelting. And what you need is one of these guys, okay? So you need eight stone and a bucket for that. Yeah, a bucket. You might be wondering how to get a bucket. Three tuna cans. Remember, I was telling you about those tuna cans, all right? Check this out. See that? Oh, yeah. Now, now we're off to a good start. 
craft a furnace right there. Stone, bucket, furnace, let's go. And now I can just kind of place this down. I'm gonna, well, that, that doesn't look right, does it? I think it's stuck. Yeah, let's, let's move that, let's move that somewhere else, huh? All right, that looks kind of strange, but you know what? It'll it'll do the trick. In fact, we we can kind of we can kind of fix this up a bit, I think. Let's see here. I'm uh I am one for aesthetics, so we're gonna we're gonna clean this up a bit. Yeah, see that? That looks nice. All right, so we got a furnace now. Um. This, this is where it starts to get a little tricky, okay? Because once you get a furnace, you got to get coal. You see that? It wants me to mine eight coal. Now, I don't have coal. You might be wondering where you get coal. Because, uh, you know, there's no coal here. At least not for me. Not on a public island. So if you press I, and you, and you can't see it because my camera's in the way, but right up here in the corner, see that? There's a little map. Yeah, that's right, the map. And the map is going to show you basically everywhere you can go. You got volcanoes, coal mines, iron mines, all islands, my islands, the hub. You know the hub. We were just in the hub. That's the big fancy one where the captain is. So he's in the hub. You can always go back to the hub. Or you can go wherever else. Now we need coal. So we're going to go to a coal mine. Lo and behold, this page right here, filtered by coal, is going to show you only islands that have coal mines that are at least level 2. You can't get coal from a level 1 coal mine. They're uh, privately owned by, by their holders. But level two ones, free game. You can get coal from those. So we're, we're going to go here. And we're going to try our best to get some coal. Uh, but given that this is the only coal mine open in the game, we're going to have a lot of people over here trying to get coal. And it's, it's going to be a free-for-all. So you know we're, we're going to do our best with our little wooden axe. Now, if I had a stone axe, I could do this a lot faster. And that, it looks like these guys all have stone picks. Most of them do. Yeah, they're trying. Look at them go. Good lord. How am I how am I to compete with that, huh? Well, we'll give it a shot. I'm I'm probably going to make a stone pick just to just to have better odds. Let's see here. All right. Give me give me give me give me. I got it. Look at that. I got the coal. All right, I got one. We just need seven more. Just seven. We can do that seven more times, right? Come on. Ah, 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 ah. Didn't get that one. I did not get that one. They got something on top of their mouse. That doesn't work as well as they think it does. As, as you could tell by me getting the uh, the one. Mining minions? Yeah, that's exactly what it is, T-Pack. You know. Those who know, know. All right, let's see. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. We're going to be here a while. <laughs> yeah, it might take us a while to get this coal. Where does it go? What do you think's down there, huh? Some some little minions down there at the bottom. Some trapped people doing something. Who knows what? All right. Oh, there's no way I was first to that. I got to be quicker. I got to be way quicker. Now, you see this chest here. The person who, own this, who owns this island, they're, they're earning coal for every coal that gets mined. And so they're, uh, they're just making money over there. Unlike us. Us scavengers who have to 
go around and scavenge for the coal. Oh, come on. Give. Darn. One coal. If it's red sometimes, it's it's just a, a visual thing. How can you tell the mine has coal? Because there's coal coming out. Uh, if it sends back an empty mine cart, there ain't nothing left. It's all gone. But if it's sending coal, you just keep sending it in until it doesn't no more. And you'll get your coal. We'll all get it, eventually. You have one? Hey man, I'll, I'll take your coal. I, I want some coal. coal. Coal is great. It's a good day to get some coal. It'll be easier to get coal for you guys in the future if you're, if you're, if you're watching this because uh, there's going to be a lot more of it than just one mine. A lot more. You know, I, I only got one. So I'm I'm trying my best here, but it's uh it's hard, man. It's hard. I mean of all the islands these ones all have coal on them, but they're not public. See if you click them they're level ones. So I, I can't get anything there yet. But maybe I can convince someone. You think? Maybe I can convince this guy to give me coal? Twenty-four hour stream for eight coal. You're probably not far off. Man, this island is nuts. Do you see how big these things can be? If you uh, if you keep building, I mean, they got a whole airplane. I don't even know how they built that up there. <laughs> Just a lot of blocks. Uh, well, if the volcano's there, then the coal mine should be right under us. Yeah, it's right there. They're not upgrading it? Seriously? Oh, you guys. Come on. Now, see, this, this is the thing. This is the thing people are going to do. is they don't, they don't want anyone getting their coal, so they're, they're fencing it off. They're going to upgrade it, and they're going to fence it off. Because they want to be hoarders. But look at this. They left the door open. How are you going to leave the door open and try to fence off your coal mine? Yeah, give me that. Give me that coal. Now we're talking. <laughs> He's so unaware. I snuck right past him. Hey, hey, bud. Hey, psst. You left the door open, bud. Yeah, see? He's passed out. What? It's empty. Well, that's no fun. Come on. No wonder this guy's asleep. What are you guarding? You got nothing worth protecting. There's nothing in there. Don't worry. I, I, you know we can try. We can keep trying the strategy somewhere. Somewhere there's gonna be coal. Somewhere. Maybe uh, the good folks on. 44 have coal? Let's give it a shot. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's coal. You see that? I, I see that. That's coal right there. I'm going to get that. Oh, he's passed out. He's not even paying attention. Oh, it's red. I can't. I don't have access to it. I forgot. I forgot. It's a level one. I want this coal. Look, he knows too. Yeah, give me that. Give me that coal. Yeah, give me that coal. Oh my God! I actually picked it up. I stole the coal from him. <laughs> oh shh. Oh no, he doesn't like that. He's looking at me weird. All right, I'm just gonna hide over here until he mines it again, unsuspectingly. He uh, he can't see me over here. All right, we'll let him. We'll let him mine it out. Mine it. Go for it, bud. Go on. Go ahead. Nah, I won't try anything. Oh, no. All right, here it is. Oh, 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 oh. No, I was too slow. I was too slow. 
What? What are you looking at? Don't judge me. You don't know what I've been through. You don't you don't know what I've had to do to get this coal. All right? I've been out here for months. I'm starving to death. All right? I, I don't need your I don't need your glances. Right, give me that. Give me that coal. I didn't get it. Oh, you know what? I don't think I got the coal in the first place either. I think I already had to. <laughs> I think I'm just being stupid. Someone told me to go to 262 for uh for some coal, so I'm gonna I'm gonna give that a shot. I'm in desperate need. Now look, part of the game, okay? If if this is this is an accurate guide, all right? If you're too lazy to mine the coal, you can get it from other people too. And it helps. It does help. You can get the coal. Gremlin mode. Gremlin mode, excuse me. I guess that's I guess that's a fair. I, I, I think I deserve that. That's alright. So obviously I didn't mine this coal, so my objective's not gonna go up. Um, which is unfortunate because I'd like to show you the rest of these objectives, but man, it is really hard for me to, to mine any coal right now. There's just none there. It doesn't exist. So we're out of options. All right. Um, we, we did what we had to do. The objectives after this are like generate stone, um, farm it's stuff like that um, and I'm gonna show you how to do that stuff anyway so even if you can't see the uh, objective change we're gonna do what we gotta do uh, so the next thing is gonna be generate stone and you know what that means we need another bucket and unfortunately I only have one tuna can which means we gotta do some more fishing you gotta fish a lot in this game all right you're, you're in the middle of the ocean what do you expect you can't go to the grocery store and buy a bucket, at least not yet. Not until the people of this great island nation develop grocery stores. But we can fish. Oh yes, we can fish. Nice. Oh yeah, there you go, he's got it. You got all the objectives down. Generate stone. Expand your island. Put fish in a bird feeder. Plant a seed. Water your seeds. Harvest a crop. Harvest a crop you're going to be stuck on for days anyway. So that one, uh, you know, you haven't even gotten to the rest of this yet. Unless you've already got crops that you can harvest. But if you're brand new, like I'm playing through, chances are slim, Jim. All right, laser pointer. Those are fun to play with, but it's not a tuna can, and that's what we—that's uh, what we really need here. We need a tuna can. So we'll just keep fishing, and we'll fish, and we'll uh, we'll get there. It'll be, it'll be a good time. What? Oh, it broke. My fishing rod broke. So I want to show you guys something. These uh, sugar canes, you can craft into into rope. If you have some, see that? I can make rope with these. Or I can plant them and I can grow more of them. So that's, that's what I'm going to do. What? We have a visitor. Hello. Hi. What's this? Coffee? You have a coffee bean? Thank you for this. I will use these someday when they have a real utility. I appreciate this gift and I'll take it as a gesture of peace and I'll give you this rusty old key Yes, thank you. You've earned a key to my island. 
So let's craft another fishing rod and see if we can get a tuna can here. <clears throat> They're the second most common item in the game, so they can't be too hard to get. At least you would think, right? They're very, very common. More common than a lot of things. A compass. We don't need a compass. We've already got land. Seems like everyone has found where I am. And they've come to pay me visits. Alright, I missed one. That's alright. Don't get them all. Mm, 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 mm. <sighs> well, another compass. What? You people cannot keep showering me with gifts. I have to do it the right way. Although, I, I will say, it, it, it is a strategy, you know. The easiest way to get resources is to ask someone else for them. That's the easiest way. The easiest way is to do nothing yourself and make everyone else do it for you. And if you do... Ah, crap. I had my fingers misaligned. Now I'm screwed. Well, you know what? Who needs it? Let's just pretend I crafted a bucket, huh? And what happens when you craft a bucket to get lava in it is you got to go to a volcano. Now, lots of islands have volcanoes on them, all right? They're all there. You just look. You click volcano. You see that? Resource available. It's got that little lava there. That means there's a volcano on this island. You can see it right there. And what you do is you got to do a little parkour. It's kind of hard um, for some, easier for others. But you start down here, and you got to get to the top of the volcano. All right, let's let's go. Now I, I've been doing this a lot, so I've I might make this look a little easier. But, uh, yeah, it's, it might be a little more difficult your first go around. So assuming this bucket was empty, which you've seen me craft one of those before, you just right click the volcano and it fills it with lava and the lava disappears there. And then you got a lava bucket just like that. Although yours will be more full than mine here. Look at this island. This is something to aspire to. Look at all this corn. Sweet, golden, golden, gold, what do they call it? I don't know. What do, you, what do we got over here? We got a bunch of fruit trees, pineapples. Look at this island, tomato fields. We got all these coffee beans over here. Lots and lots of coffee. These people are rolling in it, aren't they? They got yams. Do they have like every type of crop here? That's not yam. That's those are sugar cane. More corn. More pineapples. Oh my goodness. More corn. Oh, corn is so beautiful. I think these are banana trees and guava trees or orange trees. Oh, passion fruit trees. Yes. Those are mango trees. Lots of trees here. Lemon trees. This is a great little farm. It's, it's uh, beautiful, really. Do we have an island native here? Oh yeah, look. You gonna let me in? 
Wow. See, now they got buckets. They come in here every day and get buckets of lava, I bet. What a lovely home. It's very nice. Love it. Love this place. All right. Let's head back to our island. And I'm going to show you how maybe one day we can be just as great as them. But we all start with nothing. We all start from the very bottom with a furnace, a lava bucket, and some coal. So what you want to do is put this coal in the furnace. And see that? It's going to turn on. And once it turns on, you're going to start to see some stone appear here, just like that. And then you mine it. And then you wait. And then you mine it again. Oh, yeah, just like that. And that's pretty much it. That's, that's, uh, that's about it, actually. And you kind of just do this forever. But it's nice. It's chill. It doesn't take too long. You gotta you gotta do a bit of work. Put put your uh, put your fingers to good use. But uh, you can always talk to the chat while you're at it. You love the Wind Waker aesthetic. I'm glad to hear it, Fishy. I'm glad. I'm glad you like the game. Uh. Mm hmm So you can see I'm uh, starving to death. That's because I haven't eaten anything. So I should probably eat. I could eat this shrimp, this kelp, or this dolphin someone gave me. I think I'm going to save the dolphin to try to get some good seeds with. I don't want to eat a dolphin, really. They're kind of really cute. And it'd be a shame to eat this little fella. So I'm going to hold off on eating him. Now one thing I didn't show you is um, you don't just get stone from the furnace. But you can also get sand. Mm-hmm. I'm going to show you how. You can craft a sledgehammer with four stone and two stick. And then when you break stuff out of the furnace, you get sand instead of stone. You see that? Yeah, that's, that's a little trick right there. Now, now you get sand. Sand's pretty nice. You can do a lot of stuff with sand. make glass you can make sandstone you can just plop it down and have more sand a little bit more of a beach feel rather than a giant wooden floating island you feel like you have a real island it's kind of nice I wish more people would build their islands out of sand than uh, than wood hopefully now they can now that it's a little bit more abundant but we'll see Oh, you got a little strawberry. It's so cute. Hi. Is that your little friend? This game's adorable. Amazing work on the update. Well, thank you, Echoes. It's, uh, it's been a lot of work. You can see these things getting drained in here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, what? For me, a cute little treat. Thank you so much. They're so cute. Little strawberries. They're almost too cute. I don't even want to eat them. 
but I guess they're not alive like the fish. So I can eat a strawberry. They are full of vitamins after all. Oh, they're so cute. Yummy. Yeah, let's not let's not get hasty here. We got coal burning in here. It's important to mine this because your coal is burning whether you're mining this or not. So if you step away while there's just a block sitting there, your coal is going to keep burning. All right, so you be careful. Almost here. You see it burning still. Burning all that lava into stone. Don't question the physics, all right? That's just how it works. Lava, when heated up, makes stone. What happens when you starve to death? Well, that I hope you don't find out. But if you do, your items go down into the bottom of the ocean, and they sink, and you never get them back. And it's very sad. This game is fun because it reminds me of Skyblock. Well, Echo, that's because it is literally inspired by Skyblock. I've said it before. A lot of people don't... Um, don't know what skyblock is but you do know what skyblock is so i can tell you all about it it's definitely very heavily inspired by skyblock very much so that's why you die when you go in the water because uh well in skyblock you fall into the void but uh there's no void here it's just a sea so we made the sea the void and then you got to make you know little generators like this so it's it's very inspired by it. Um, it's a great game. Sky Grid game mode, lol. Sky Grid's a little uh, a little crazy. Yeah, look, that coal's burning. It's not even doing nothing. So we're gonna take that out. Now we got a bucket back, and we can probably go get that lava, since someone gave us a this bucket now that the buckets empty we can go get another another lava bucket and that'll be nice so check this out look at this small tiny island look at this see that we're expanding folks we're getting bigger no more are we reduced to this tiny little size we're getting rich and we will use our riches to make a giant island that we can all be happy on look at that we're thriving folks we're thriving isn't this fantastic doesn't, doesn't this make you so much happier to have space we got space to walk around now oh that's that's fantastic so we'll, we'll go get another bucket in a second but before we do i want to show you something because it's daytime and during the daytime we have access to a little feature that's really cool so check this out this palm tree doesn't need to fully grow to drop wood. And I can just replant the coconut. So if you need wood quickly and you're in a bind uh, and your palm tree is not fully grown yet, you can do that to get a little bit of wood there, see? And now I'm gonna craft this thing using a, a wood and a stick called a bird feeder. This is how you start farming. It's a, it's a pretty big part of the game and we'll especially be part of the game when combat becomes more of a thing so i'm gonna take this bird feeder and i'm gonna plop it down somewhere nice i think right here looks looks okay it's fine um so yeah we'll do that We're gonna take this dolphin and we're gonna put it in the bird feeder. I know, I know, it's sad, it breaks my heart, but oh, look at that, that was instant. 
That bird was like swarming around waiting for it. Oh my God. That just devoured that thing. And it flew off into my furnace. All right. Goodbye. Wow. That was something else. So when you put the fish in, every so often a bird will come and uh it'll 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 come and you know poop. It'll it'll come and poop. It it'll, it'll eat a fish and it'll poop this little thing on the ground. And what this is is a seed. You get seeds out of their poop. Think about it. At night, the seagulls, so in the day, the seagulls come and eat your bird feeders, but at night, they come and eat other people's crops. They'll eat your crops if you don't have a scarecrow. And so, uh, I mean, that's basically what happened there. So that's how, uh, that's how that works. And, uh, yeah, it drops a little thing. So I can make a hoe here. I'm going to use stone because I have more stone than I do wood right now funny enough and uh, I'm gonna show you this it's really cool watch this I'm just gonna hoe the ground like that see that we're farming that's all it takes to farm and then you can plant your seed so look I have a I have one seed I have a cabbage seed and we're just gonna put that down here look at that now it needs some water, otherwise it's gonna die. So now you, now you gotta get water. And the, and the way you get water is you gotta craft a watering can, which unfortunately means you need more tuna cans. I know. Um, they're, they're, they're very important. I, I don't think people realize how much you need tuna cans, so. Two tuna cans, one bucket. We'll get you a watering can. And we'll, we'll turn it into a... We'll get another tuna can and we'll turn it into a watering can so we can water our little, uh, our little cabbage there. Or this guy will do it. All right. So, uh, important note here. Anyone can water your crops. Anyone. So these guys could do it if they wanted to. Um, you don't have to be the one to do it always so if you have friends or someone kind comes or you pay someone sometimes people just water your crops for you this guy gave me a watering can so we'll just uh go over here and water it there it is it's watered you can tell because it's darker right and now we wait and we wait and then pretty soon we're gonna have some big palm trees we have some big sugar cane, and we're gonna have a little cabbage here. And now we're now we're farming. It's a grind for sure. Now what's cool is we can water other people's crops too. So check this out. Let's go get some more lava because we have an empty bucket. And I'm gonna show you something here. What if you stand beside your crops? Will the birds still eat them? Yes. You can scare them away if you have a flare gun, which is something you catch from the sea. Um, so a flare gun works. Or you can craft a scarecrow like this thing, and it'll protect your crops. Birds, uh, The birds won't get you. So all those crops have been watered already. I, I don't remember what island I was on recently. That was really cool. Uh, maybe it was this one. Definitely not this one. What is this? This is insane. Is this just a tower of trees? What, what am I on right now? There's a staircase. Oh my god, it's a giant vertical farm. Alright, well look, I can water these crops. Check this out. Oh, no, I can't. They restricted me. Oh, wait, these are fully grown. They don't need to be watered. Man, look, that's a harvest right there. They need to come get all these strawberries then. 
Those are ready to be harvested. They're ripe for the picking. Oh, they're so pretty. I, I, I'd be lying if I was saying I wasn't jealous. They got they got a lot going on in here. And they got coal blocks too. And these guys are rich. They got barrels full of water. Killing it. Alright, is this the exit? No! How do I get out of this place? Oh my god, it keeps going. Oh, okay, we're done. Man, this is a weird island. I don't know about this one. I don't even want to get lava from this one. This one has a weird energy. We'll go back to 88. Yeah, 88's cool. Look at that. There's some people over here. What are these guys doing? Ooh, they're trading scarecrows. I want a scarecrow. Give me that. Oh. Darn. I wonder what that was about. What do you think what do you think these people are up to? Probably some weird transaction. What would you trade a scarecrow for? I don't know. Alright, let's let's get this lava up here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sh I'm gonna, I can finally show you what that looks like. Check this out. Ready? Boom. Mm-hmm. And that's how you get a bucket. Now you know. Let's go back home. Now we can use this. Of course, I gotta get more coal to burn it. And I don't have a lot. Oh, but the seagull came and ate my clownfish. What'd I get? Another cabbage. Well, it'll have to do. Not the worst thing, at least our crops match. Cool, so that's that. That's how you do that. Uh, the only other thing I haven't shown you is the uh, the last challenges. Which are, uh, what? Harvest a crop? Craft a composter and generate dirt. So now you got to know how you actually make more dirt. And the way you do that is with a composter. Uh, and the way you get a composter is by... Where is it? Composter. One barrel, two stick, and two stone equals a composter. And the way you craft a barrel is with eight wood. Oh, my God. And we're going to need a lot more wood. We don't have anywhere near that much wood. Oh, jeez. You guys got any wood? <laughs> so you put the coal block on your personal island and you'll level up? Yes, exactly. Exactly. You get you get uh you get island levels for the for blocks you have. Which is uh based on these here, see? So that's how you get an island level. You get points for the types of blocks on your thing. Now, mo all of these blocks require coal in order to get them. So you either use coal to get these things, or you just use it directly. Either way, it gets you points. And that's how, that's how you do that. Oh! Oh, thank you, thank you. Thank you for this wood, sir. I'm rich now. All right, watch this. Barrel, boom. Composter. But I don't have any sticks. 
And my inventory is too full. So let's craft a chest, actually. Check this out. Place that right there. And you can place stuff in your chest, too. That way, uh, that way you don't have to keep everything on you all the time. It's pretty nice. We'll need that. I'll put that in there. Put that shrimp in there. I'll put that boot in there. Put these things away for safekeeping. We don't necessarily need any of this at the moment. Right, let's see. I got my tools here. My lava bucket here. We got our wood here. I'm about to make a thing with that. All right, we're good to go. We're uh, we're balling now. All right, look at that. See, safe and sound. So now we can make a composter with this barrel, stick, and stone. And that's going to be right there. There it is. Composter. And this is what you use to make dirt. That way you can plant more crops and get a big farm like those other guys. So you just plop that down, and it looks like that. And the composter needs crops, and it needs sand. Mm-hmm. So let's get some sand real quick. There's uh, not much coal here, but we'll do what we can. Having your own iron mine is sweet. Yeah, I know. Iron mine, having an iron mine is pretty great. Don't worry, you can play. Uh, there's an event going, so you know if you can manage to get in the top ten somehow, you'd be able to win win an island. Of course, there's a lot of islands that we're going to be giving away. We've got like 50 of them to give away at least, so we'll be giving away a lot. All right, let's get let's get this let's get this sand. What are you guys jumping around for? Having a little party? Sure does rain a lot on this island. Oh well. Alright. We're getting lots of sand here. Running on our last coal. doing good we're doing great we're doing great no we got a good start here luckily we've had a lot of help from from our friends but you know that's that's what it's all about you know you you need people to help you out you can't do it alone it, you can but it's it's much more difficult if you have a friend it makes this game a lot easier um, and the good news is it's free it's a free game your friend can just join you with a link. All you do is click this little button and send them a link, and they can play with you for free. Um, so it's it's really easy to get going, you know, and get get a whole gang like I got here. To go fish while you're farming, or to go mine while you're composting, you know. Am I out? I'm out. All right, so check this out. This is how we're going to use the uh, composter. So first thing you need is sand, which we're going to put in here. And you can see it fills up this little bar. The next thing you need are crops. So anything that you can grow or farm, you can put in here. So I'm going to put this strawberry in here. See, that barely did anything. I'm going to put these coffee cherries in there. That did a little bit more. Now, you can fill this up a lot. But you don't, you don't even need to fill it up that much to get it going, look. Actually, I do. It's not filled up nearly as much as it needs to be. Oh, wait. No, it is. I clicked the wrong button. So you just click it and spin it. And then look at that. Dirt. Dirt pops up. And you can just spin it and spin it. And it's really fun. It's really fun to spin it and make, make dirt. So now you've seen the whole life cycle. You you gotta collect lava 
and coal from the mines to generate stone and sand in a furnace. You got to catch fish from the seas to put in the bird feeder to get seeds. You got to put the uh, seeds in the ground to grow crops. And then you got to take the crops with the sand from the furnace into a composter to make dirt so that you can make more dirt so you can grow more crops and then you get more coal, more lava, make more stone, more sand, grow the island, put the sand and all the, the crops in here in the composter, grow that, repeat that, do that over and over and over again. And that's how you go from being, you know, a small little guy like this so, you know, some of these big guys in here, like these guys on the top, they all started out just like you. Except they farmed and farmed and they grinded and they got so much crops. This, this is a lot of bird poop is what this is. So it took a lot of fish. You put the fish in, you get the seeds, you put the seeds down, you get the crops. You put the crops with the sand and the composter you get more dirt you plant more crops and you just it just keeps going that's how it works you know so one day i'll, I'll be like these guys I'll, I'll have me a big farm look see they're still doing it over there look at them they're mining stone away because that's what you got to do you got to grind look at them grinding over there look at these guys they don't stop, do they? Look at him go. He's doing three at once. Now, that's a strategy. You can actually do probably four at once if, you, if you've got like a stone pick. You can do four of these at once. No. You just grind. What a game, huh? You've pretty much seen it all. Your island level is constituted by the uh, blocks on it, tags. So a top island is a top island because of those types of blocks on it that give it that score. Oh, what fun. I can eat the shrimp or I can eat this kelp. I'll probably eat the kelp since I'm not that hungry. Let me on. Right to raft. There we go. And we're off. What a game, huh? What do you think? You pretty much saw most of it uh, for now. There's definitely going to be a lot more. A lot more is coming. The next update we're working on is the combat update, which lets you go to war with other people. You'll actually be able to raid islands that are opted into it and, uh, and go fight people. It's going to be pretty crazy. So it'll be fun. It'll, it'll definitely be fun. Um, for now, though, you know, yeah. You make your stone, you make your sand, you grow your island bigger, you get your fish, you get your seeds, you make your crops. You do it all. And you make friends along the way. Look at all the friends we made. We started out all alone. It was just me. I didn't have any friends. And now look at all my friends. That's what it's all about. I mean, I know this guy up here has a sword and he's trying to kill me, but we can pretend he's my friend, right? Is he my friend? I don't, I don't know. I don't trust him. <laughs> but, but you know, you, you can pretend he's your friend. And that's Castaways. What a game. You can, of course, hop around. There's so much more to do than just build your own. Like, look at all these people on these other islands. There's 300 people online right now. You see that? So you can go to all these other islands and hang out with them. Like, what's, what's this guy doing? Hey, he's just sitting here with a bunch of bots, probably. Mining, uh, mi mining stone. All right, well, screw this guy. Let's go somewhere else. <laughs>
How's the uh, coal mine doing? You just upgraded and there was no coal. I don't know about that. That guy's gonna die out there. Oh my god. We gotta save him. I don't have my raft. Oh, he's... He's gonna die out there. That's, uh... That's, that's no good. There he goes. Oh, he's back. He's gonna... He's gonna try again. All right, Godspeed. Look at that. There's uh, there's there's bots, for sure. Echo, they're they're all over the place. They like to uh, they like to fish as much as you do. It's a good. It's a part of the game. It's a part of the ecosystem. What's this guy doing? People just standing around here. What are you building? Got some sand. You gonna do something with that sand? Kick. What a cute game. Nice little island. Well, folks, that's pretty much it. We uh, completed most of the challenges there even though I didn't actually achieve them on screen with my objective. Um, we definitely got through them all. Um, so you, you, saw the, you saw the most of it. Hopefully now you have a good understanding of how to play the game. Yeah? I'll show you one more thing if you made it this long. I'll show you a little Easter egg. If you can find anywhere, this works anywhere, not just the hub, but if you can find little places where there's a, a slab on top of a block... And then another slab here, and you walk into it like that, and you just hold W, just hold W, just keep holding it, and then press S to go out, you'll go flying. Now, I held it pretty long, so I'm going to fly up pretty high here. It's, it's, it's pretty fun. I, I think we're going to leave that in. It definitely wasn't intentional, but people have a lot of fun with it, so... We're going to keep it in there. Now, like I said, you don't have to do it that long. You can just hold it a little bit. Fly a little bit. Come to space with me, friends. We're going to the moon. Oh, no. Oh, I, I was just there. Let's see if I can do it. I fell off. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! Aha. King of the hub here, people. Thank you all so much for watching. We are going to water the crops from up here. And just look out at the amazing world that we've built. Isn't it? Isn't it amazing? Look at the cluster of unknown accounts. Look at this guy just rafting about. Look at this guy fishing. What a world. What a lovely world it is. Oh, looks like someone's coming to join us. Will they make it? I don't know where they went. I think they fell. Well, it's been a lot of fun. I uh, hope to make some more of these as more things are added and teach you guys all about it. But uh, until then, I'll see all of you little kekaways the next time. Want to give him a wave, Captain? Want to say goodbye? There he is.